And we're back to part two. On this uh, Zeus boss fight. By the way, the beginning was actually supposed to be a reference to uh, your favorite Martians, Orphan Tears Part 2, in case you didn't get that. Alrighty. So. Despite the fact it seemed like Zeus had died, he's coming out of a. like a ghost like form, apparently. And, oh yeah, Helios' head there reminds me. What did Helios himself say that my death will not lead you to Zeus? Well, there he is. He got to Zeus because of Helios' head, so... Technically, that is true. I'm trying to run around here in the dark. <laughs> this is one of my least favorite parts of the game, just by how it drags on. <clears throat> and there's like literally nothing going on here. See some of the... Oh, maybe. Mother? What's happening outside? The people! The fires! Shh! Stay close, Calliope. Mother, I'm scared. Are they coming to get us? Your father will protect us. Burn this village! Nope. Burn it to the ground! Daddy? Kratos! Okay, so I am going the right way then. Yeah, this always like really throws me off being asked backwards then and everything. So technically what Zeus is doing here is actually causing... is making it more likely to kill him much easier and faster or whatever. Okay, so we got the light of Pandora. Cool! Oh, I think we're getting closer. Yeah, we see... Marks the ghost of Sparta. You can see the light. It is changing. It is time to lay your fears to rest. The light reveals the truth. The power of forgiveness comes from within. Speaking of forgiveness, I do apologize for any of my other videos that had age restriction on it. That was definitely my fault. And I think it was, I can't remember which kind of poor video it actually was, though, because I never really specifically titled them. All I know is uh, one of my God of War videos here actually did end up getting an age restriction. Although I do know exactly why it got an age restriction, but... Uh, I can't remember the exact video itself because they just kind of uh, run together. This 
Man, I gotta piss. They want me to run to a certain distance before going back. Kratos, fear drove Zeus to kill his father Kronos. The same fear that brought the great war. A fear that drove Zeus to kill you, his own son. Zeus uses fear to keep you in the dark. Confront your demons and lay them to rest. You know, throughout the whole game, throughout different parts of the game and the series itself, <clears throat> they talk about the whole thing that fear's been corrupted, or fear's corrupting Zeus to kill uh, Kratos and whatnot, or whatever. Like, Zeus is filled by the evil of fear, and his fear is causing him to try to kill Kratos. Hell, Kronos even admitted this to Kratos as well, and he was still... And yet Kratos didn't seem to really acknowledge it, like, yeah, I'm still gonna kill Zeus anyway, and even Hera did the same thing. Of course, you know, Kratos did say, it's like, his fears will not matter when he's dead. The I guess to his... Have abandoned me. I guess he's just so no, bent on revenge to the point that it's like, none of this information that was actually thrown at him really ever occurred to him, that it just didn't register with him and shit. Do you remember that day, Spartan? Oh yeah, there's actually some I heard that you could actually hear Ares' voice from God of War 1 in this uh, pool here. But I haven't really found any clear evidence on that. And apparently he's actually said to be voiced by a different guy though. I think it was that first line they said like, Do you remember that day, Spartan? Which was obviously the Barbarian King. Uh, whatever his name, Al Al Alric? Something more complicated. But they actually said that, uh... You could hear his voice, but it's a different voice actor. I want to think it was that first one that I mentioned, though, because uh, Ares did make a similar line saying, Do you remember this place, Spartan? Oh, and I gotta keep swimming through this fucking pool. Maybe that was it? actor that I actually heard that actually did the voice for Ares, like in the flashback for this game, also apparently did the voice, uh, I guess they did the voice, uh, I think he did the voice for Hulk in a couple of cartoons, and even, uh, maybe even the voice of Tor from Mortal Kombat X, I don't know for sure, don't quote me on that. I've been drinking, these are things I read a while ago. I'm not saying I'm right, I'm just saying I read these somewhere. Now I'm just bringing them up because it's kind of interesting to me. So apparently the power to kill a guy was inside Kratos this whole time and it never left him. So that's supposed to explain how he was actually able to kill the other gods then at this rate? Or were the other gods just not really gods then to that point or what was going on? Is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. It or does it not take that much to kill any other god that's lost. not Zeus because of plot reasons? Like, what the hell's going on here? Am I the only one that's, like, overthinking this? Mm -hmm. 
So this is like a reverse of Poseidon's uh, part. You know, with Poseidon, you're actually seeing it his point of view when he was getting slaughtered, but this time you're actually seeing Kratos' point of view on killing Zeus. And somehow the Blades of Exile are actually able to hurt spirits. I love how you can actually see like the spirits of Hades actually, you know. You know, I thought of, I don't know if I mentioned this in another video, but you can actually see like the other gods' death causes, like you can actually see like, you know, Poseidon's death causes the flood, and you can actually see uh, Helios death causes storms and whatnot. Hermes actually caused uh, the plant life and Oh look at that! Zeus is coughing up black smoke. Apparently it was actually said that that's actually like the evil of fear actually leaving his body right at that point. And apparently I guess him uh, not uh him uh having the fear expelled out of his body like that was actually a way to Actually, is why Zeus is not really trying to fight back here. Not because he's really that badly weakened, but because he just knew what he did to Kratos, and he's like, well, I accept my fate, it's my fault. Yeah, let it happen. Just get it over with. But no. You can, but yeah, up until this point in the game, you could actually see what all the other characters, uh, and the other gods' deaths have caused. Hey, wait a minute. Kind of looks. Well, I can't really do it here, can I? But but yeah, you could actually yeah, you can see the souls flying in the background. And the death of Zeus plunges the world into total utter chaos. see them actually, you know, try to animate some volcanoes in here just to show, like, you know, with, after killing a uh, Hephaestus and that, you know, he would have, uh, apparently there was actually some spe speculation that his death would have caused the eruption of volcanoes, just to give that little bit of subtlety, I guess. Freed from the bondage of Olympus and cleansed in chaos. Cleansed in chaos? Ready to hear my message. Look around you, Athena. The world stands in ruin. What good is your message? Go if you must. But first, I insist you give me the power from inside the box. The box was empty. That can't be true. I can see it in your eyes. You used my power to kill Zeus. You still have it as we speak. Don't you understand? When Zeus gathered all the evils and placed them in the box, I dreaded what would happen if it was opened again. Hmm. So, now you care about mankind just because the world stands in ruin. You're like, oh, it stands in ruin. What good is your message? It's like, or you really just don't really care that much about mankind to begin with. It's like, I told you, it was empty. Pandora was sacrificed in vain. She died because of my need for vengeance. You must be mistaken. You used my power to kill Zeus. I saw you do. Unless... Unless what? Of course. When you opened the box, you released the evils to the gods. Infected them. Changed them. Like I said through the last couple of videos. Zeus himself fell prey to the dark evils. This is why he became so enraged and obsessed with your death. He was consumed oh. by the evil, fear. I thought the power I placed in the box was never released. All these years I assumed you drew from the evils inside to destroy Ares. 
So you would have actually thought that Kratos could have absorbed those evils and that could have actually gave him power too. So apparently absorbing the evils from the box could actually give you the power to kill a god? Seriously? Locked deep inside of you, Kratos, is hope. If that was the case, then shouldn't Kratos be like, hey, I was good. Uh, never, never mind. Wait, hang on. Never mind. I was gonna say like, shouldn't that make him like one of the more like corrupt, into evil characters? But instead, it's like, well, he did destroy an entire pantheon. But then again, it's like you know they did show more evil, crazy characteristics. And Kratos had a more one-track mind here. So it's like, no, no, he, he'd be fine. What was it, Kratos? All I remember is what I have lost. That is why you should give me the power. I understand its true meaning and where it belongs. I trust you to do the right thing, Kratos. You shouldn't. You owe me this, Kratos. I owe you nothing. I made you a god. I sheltered you from the wrath of Olympus. I delivered your revenge on Zeus. It is over, Athena. You would dare strike me down again? My vengeance ends now. Kratos! Again, he would actually try to strike down a ghost. Wow, okay, this is definitely the game where Kratos is really the most crazy and insane. And he kills himself. You know, to be fair, this is probably like the most heroic thing Kratos could have actually done. Have like the whole world actually live without the gods. I think Athena was really trying to be selfish, like she was infused with the uh, evil of selfishness and whatnot. Or greed, or... Yeah, probably a little bit of everything. They will not know what to do with it. I'm sure they can live fine without gods. You disappoint me, Spartan. <clears throat> Well, uh, yeah, many people actually talk about the God of War games and whatnot. We definitely say that God of War 3 Kratos is his most insane. He killed gods, he killed titans, he killed freaking primordials, aka Gaia. Fuck, man, he even killed himself. Well, and that was God of War 3. That was the end of the series. Well, thank you guys for watching. I will leave any comments down below for any other games you want to see me play. I was thinking of either doing like God of War 4, maybe Spider-Man, the 2018 game, not the Miles Morales one because I don't have that one yet. Maybe some Injustice 2. I don't know. Just something to add to mind.